picking the food that's going to be sent out to all the different projects. Some in the office phone them up and ask them what they need. So they've got quite a long list. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> it's fun though. Once it all gets picked, we'll load it onto the vans and head out. We believe absolutely passionately the food that's perfectly edible, uh, that otherwise would have gone into landfill, should be redirected to be eaten. The best, most sustainable way of disposing of it. It comes from different organisations like um, Sainsbury's, Mars and Spencer's, the Nestle, all, all, all over the place. I just didn't realise how much food went to waste from the big producers in the supermarket and it's good to do something about it. I'll see you next week. Without the, the volunteer time and commitment that we get, we could not manage the handling of the food and we could not manage the distribution of the food. Core to everything that we do is the volunteer team that we have. There's so many um, needy people, and especially now the government cutbacks. This food is at top quality and they appreciate it a lot. Yeah. We work with over 600 local community organisations who are feeding people at risk. We save them costs and we provide them with good nutritional food. We are here to serve about 157 uh, residents. So the more the better, the, the more the merrier. Uh, it helps in, the, in our budget uh, tremendously. It gives uh, give, uh, residents a very kind of diverse uh, menu, like a trout on crude. Uh, it's it's not, not on a normal menu. We feed homeless people and people who live in hostels. On average, we go around 300 a day, which um, do take an awful lot of feeding. No question about that. Uh, but I'm glad to say that food does come in on a regular basis. I was living in the Soviet Union Army hostel, and uh, this is the only place I had to eat. It was, it was a lifeline when I came there. Part of my job here is to drive, to load the van, deliver the food, collect the food maintain the vans, you know, the way of life I come from, from, from cocaine and crack cocaine, for me I've always ever taken from society, you know, to working for fair shares of opportunity as a part of my recovery to give back. The discipline of having others relying on you and a commitment at a particular time is hugely valuable. Having structure is great, you know, and I, I, I owe a lot to my recovery to fair share for giving me the opportunity, you know, to be able to come in, to be able to drive with them, you know, to earn respect, to earn trust. We give them a structured work experience volunteering opportunity, plus the opportunity to get skills and to get qualifications and to get back into work. Hopefully one day I will be able to be employable. I've been here for two years. During that time I've completed an MVQ in warehouse and storage, which has been good. Also trained and passed my forklift test. So yeah, fair share has been great for me and that's why I keep coming back and all the time, you know, and giving my service. When they pass the course at the end of the week, they get a nationally recognised certification which they can go out, give to an employer. But these guys wouldn't be able to afford to do this normally, so it's giving them a great opportunity to move forward and, and you know, it's, it's turning their lives around. Fair share the over me experience where I can get it over here. It's a brilliant chance and I appreciate everyone who set up all this thing. Some of our volunteers come through our corporate partnerships and relationships. For many of them, it, it will be the first time that they've done any form of volunteering and their work has supported them to do that. Most of them are almost speechless at the experience. What struck me initially was the sheer amount of food that would be just thrown away. And that, for me, was pretty shocking. You're helping people that haven't got what they need to get by. If we can just take one day out of our ordinary lives and help them just along another day, I think that's a, a fairly big thing. Volunteers are wonderful. They're all different ages, from young to not so young. I, I think it's a no-brainer. If you've got the time and the ability to do stuff, then why not? There's, there's definitely a need out there. Yeah, I've met lots of people, yeah. No, I do, I love it. Yeah.